do not feel good if your body language says so. If you're smiling, it's weird, but trust me, just try it. Okay? You're gonna feel good, right? Because it's like physiology creates psychology and psychology creates physiology. It's the same, all right? So this is how we're gonna use this. Now, Dr. Albert Barabian. Okay, this is not Dr. Albert, by the way. Okay? So Dr. Albert Barabian, uh, he did the research about how do we communicate as human beings, okay? And there's three ways we could communicate. Who knows? How could we communicate? Yes. Words, actually, voice tone, body language. Words, voice tone, which is tonality, and the body language, okay? And who knows what's the percentage of words, you think? The words? Uh, I don't know. 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10%? 10
Then they will give you the pleasure. Then they will give you the pleasure. Then they will give you the way out of it. How can you use that information to influence people? Transformative learning is taking away what's in the way of you being powerful and effective in the knowledge that you already know. Let me show you an example. We're going to call this area of you know that you know. It's the area that you don't know that you don't know. Don't know that you don't know. Chuyan, you don't know that I don't know. Don't. It's a trick question, right? <laughs> you don't know what you don't know. We don't know it. That's right. And that's where transformative learning takes place. And that's called your blind spots. So your future is what's making you who you are today. Mm. Okay? Now, if the future is making you who you are today, why it seems that the past is making you who you are today? We carry our past and our future, and we carry a heavy load with it too. So, landmark education, what it does is we grab the past, where it belongs, and when that happens, what's there instead? Future. Nothing. And with nothing, what could you create? Everything and anything. Bi family liyom mushahidina rah nataraf ala jamayit DYS li mish min zaman tassasit walikin am betwajih bi kil jadara mishkli am bianu min auladna min zaman hi mishkli tsaubat taalimiy abrah bi raisit wa muassisit al jamayi amani jardi ahla sahla fiki abrah bi kaman bil speaker wal self development coach Khalid al jardi ahla sahla fik. Thank you. Hadrtak mudarib tatwir al zayt wa speaker. دعوك خصيصا كرمال او حتى تشارك بالمؤتمر اللي راح تقدموه هالسنه كمان للمره الثانيه، قبل ما نحكي عن تفاصيل هالمؤتمر بدنا نعرف شو يعني دي واي اس اماني. اول رايت هيدا اسم الجمعيه اسمها دي اس وتش از تعني مشكله او عسر، اتس لاتون بريفكس بنحطها قبل الكلمه، وتش از لايك ديسلاكسيا ديسكالكوليا، ميز بروبلم ان لاكسس او بالكالكوليشن، سو اتس اتس عند الاولاد اللي عندهم هالمشكله؟ ابسوتلي نعم، فانا وظيفتي بت يكون اشتغل على الحاله النفسيه مشان يعني يقدروا يتقبلوا تلاميذ التعلم بطريقه سريعه هيدي واحد واثنين من خلال الكوميونيكيشن سكيلز فعندك تلاميذها بيتعلموا هن معظمهم حسيين عندك تلاميذ سمعيين عندك تلاميذ بصريين فنحن كيف بنقدر دغري بنعرف اذا تلميذ من اي موداليتي عم يشتغل عليه من اي طريقه يعني هل حاسه اقوى عندهم من غيرها طبعا طبعا نحن بنستعمل كل الاحواس بس اياها اللي اقوى اياها مور دومينانت وهيدي بنشتغل no. عليها هيدي واحد اثنين تخيلي مثلا كنا نحن مثلا بال... بال... بالصف قاعده no. هيك وممكن يقولوا لنا مثلا اقعدوا هيك وحطوا تمكم هون مضبوط ممنوع تحكي ولا كلمه فهالتلميذ هذا اللي اللي ما عم بيتحرك حواسه ما عم بيتحرك الدم بجسمه كيف بده يقدر يستوعب التعلم فهذا الشيء نحن بنقدر بنشجعه وكمان بنقدر بنشتغل بالطريقه الكوميونيكيشن كيف بيقدروا يتقبلوا يعني بتشجعوه حتى يقدر يعبر بطريقه واضحه اكثر طبعا وكمان كيف بنقدر نحن نعرف شو هو اللي الحواس الاقوى عنده ونقدر نشتغل عليها فبنقدر نشتغل بطريقه مثلا بوسترز اذا كان فيجوال اذا كان سمعي كيف بنستعمل الموسيقى سيرتن تايب الموسيقى اسمها باروك بتقدر تستعمل بتشتغل على الالفا ويفز بالبرين هيدا الالفا ويفز از ذا موست ريسبتيف فور ليرنينج وهون الوضع بيختلف عند كل ولد خالد طبعا كل ولد بيختلف بس في كاتيجوريز في في عندك الحسيين معظمهم بيشتغلوا على نفس الطريقه نعم. عندك الفيجوال وعندك الحسي والسمعي سو بنقدر نحن بنعرف تغري التلميذ على اي موداليتي عم يشتغل عليها وبنقدر نتعاطى معه كوميونيكيت اون ذيس ليفل اماني قلتي لي قبل شوي انه الحاله النفسيه هي نتيجه لهالمشكله منا مسبب طويل. ونحن ما بنقدر نعتمد على حالنا لنطور، نحن بدنا نشوف خو... ريسيرشز صاروا قبل، وين وصلوا قبل، ونحن نجيب بناء شو عمروا على مدى الزمن نتائج هالابحاث اللي جريت بالخارج عم بتطبقوها هون او بتحاولوا تنفذوها هون بلبنان، ولكن مشكلة كبيرة أكيد أنتم عم بتواجهوها بالنسبة لهالموضوع هو إنه معظم الأهالي اليوم عندهم رفوض دينايل بالنسبة للصعوبات التعليمية عند أولادهم، ما بيحبوا يعترفوا إنه أولادهم عندهم هالمشكلة اللي عم بتقوليه 100% مضبوط، وأنا عادة بستعين 
كثير بخالد لانه هيز كوتش سو هو اللي بيقدر اول شيء بالكي ستادي بيقدر يحكي مع الاهل سو ذات هيدا البارير اللي هو النكران مثل ما حضرتك عم بتقولي بنقدر بنتخطى ونخبرهم ونفهمهم انه وي ار هير بس لنساعد وطمر المشكله ابدا ما لنا حل هي بتازم كل شيء هو مطمور جوا بسبب اضطرابات اكثر كل شيء بينحط قدامنا وي كان مودلت بنشوفه من برا بنشوفه بموضوعيه ومنشيل ريسك الاضطرابات فطبعا الدينايل ون اوف ذا بيج بروبلم Yeah, first, I have one that I'm a doctor. Though I was like, uh, though I do have, I claim I do have PhD in making results, so I can <laughs> make results. That's what I can do. Um, the science is definitely needed behind it. Diagnose, see what's the problem. Yet, what I focus on is how to create results. And shadow teaching is definitely a a good place to start because it will start to create a habit, and then the habit will become part of the way of being for the child to receive information. As teachers, we're responsible for having sensory acuities, meaning sensory acuities to be able to hear, listen, and feel the child, see what they're doing, and then be able to see the strategy, the best strategy that the child can learn from. And that's the responsibility of the teacher. Thank you, Mrs. Khalid. Good evening. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> well, my name is Khalid al Yeah. What? Good luck pronouncing that. <laughs> um, so one common question that I get is like, you know, where are you from? And you know, I just tell them, you know, I'm from Beirut, Lebanon, right? And immediately you can just sense them like, you know, just violence and war and guys just walking in the fast. And really, you know, we, we went through a lot of you know, a lot of that, but that was just from the past. You know, now it's like a weekend thing. <laughs> <laughs> So I convinced my friend Mustafa to come with me to America, right? And I was on the first camel out of there. <laughs> Why did we pick Arizona? You know, we figured desert, armed citizens, smuggling, firearms across the border, just like home. We finally arrived to Scottsdale, right? My beard was like foot long. My friend Mustafa, he had like a hummus withdrawal. And my poor camel lost a hump on the way. I was disappointed. You know, really, it's like bars closed at one o'clock back then. You know, for some reason it seems like cactuses were just flipping me off everywhere. <laughs> And in Scottsdale, there were no virgins to be found. <laughs> yeah, a common, common question I get from, you know, girls sometimes ask me, so tell me something romantic in Lebanese, right? And really, Arabic is not, not the most romantic language <laughs> right. So imagine like you know, you know, you're a lovely, beautiful girl, right? Imagine that in Arabic. Here's how it sounds. In the head we have it. It's like freaky, isn't it? So now all I just say is like falafel. <laughs> That's my time, guys. 